Okay, so we're going to do a video on pewter casting. Okay, so I'm going to go through some health and safety stuff. And also, we're going to try and pewter cast into a, a mould. Okay, now the mould that we've produced is actually just made out of card. Okay, we can use card, we can use MDF because pewter melts at a relatively low temperature, it's around about 230 degrees to 300 degrees. Okay, now notice this has been taped together quite securely, but I'm also going to put some wood around the outside and clamp this in place. Okay, this is to ensure obviously that pewter doesn't flow out of the outside okay now we've got quite a small gap here so it could be challenging it might work it might not but we're going to give it a go okay now this is our blowtorch now the blowtorch we can turn off and on that's for the gas flow here and by pressing the button it will light it if i let go it will turn off just for safety reasons that that's how we, we can use that okay we have uh, some pewter pieces here now these are cut from an ingot which is a large piece of metal. These are the smaller pieces here that have been cut. You can see with a hacksaw there to cut those down. And we have enough pewter here to um, allow that. It's always good to, to have a little bit more because obviously um, if you have less, it's, it's not gonna fill the cavity. Now, when we're heating up the pewter, well, sorry, first of all, we need to check that this workspace is completely clear in terms of health and safety as well. You can see I've got an apron on, I've got goggles on. I'm also gonna put some gauntlets on as well to make sure that uh, any molten pewter is not going to fly up and, and burn me in any way, okay? Now, we've got a pan here, we've got like a pouring nozzle there that we're going to use. Now, when we're heating this up, some people do this, this does nothing effectively, okay? Conduction will allow the heat to travel across from solids, okay? So if we just hold it about 45 degrees towards the end of the flame, that's the hottest part, and just hold it in place like this, this will melt the pewter, okay? So you can see the pewter is melting quite quickly. Okay. Now when I'm completely happy this is melted, I'll probably set take a little bit longer, spend a little bit more time with the heat on, okay? I turn the, the, the gas off and when it's all like this, when it's all ready to melt, I'll place this down on a clear surface away. I will carefully line this up with where I'm going to pour and then slowly tilt this to pour the pewter in, okay? I'm not going to cast at the moment, but you get the general principle, okay? Now, when this mould is obviously filled with uh, molten pewter, we can then release it. I've still got the gloves on because this is going to be very hot, and I'm going to take these uh, outer pieces off and run this under the, the cold tap, okay? Or alternatively, I could leave it for a long period of time, maybe a couple of hours or something, to cool down on its own before releasing the mould. That's how you pewter cast.